up some planets, shall we? Hello, everybody. I'm Kylie Kid, and welcome back to Solar Smash. Boy, it's been a long time. I've missed you, Solar Smash. Where have you been? Well, you've kind of been here all along, but you haven't been updated in quite a while. Until now, Earth. Beautiful, beautiful Earth. Also, the moon is orbiting Earth. It, has that always been the case? Have you always had the moon just kind of doing its thing? Look at him go. He's running his laps. Can you actually shoot, like, the moon separately from the Earth? Oh, you can. You missed, but you can. Okay, that you know what that calls for? Lasers. Not just any laser. The dark laser. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just vaporize the moon. That's, uh, that's my bad. We also have some variations on planets, like, for instance, flat Mars. Everybody knows Mars is actually flat. Let's blow it up. How are we gonna blow it up? Using something cool and new. What do we have? We, I mean, we got options. This thing. This is new. This is some kind of laser drone thing. What's it doing? Is it gonna just shoot lasers in every direction? Oh my gosh! It's like the thing that, that Luke Skywalker uses to, like, train his Jedi Force skills with the lightsaber, but way scarier. And obviously on a much larger scale. Real quick, I want to see what this does to Earth. I used to always put the first mechanism of destruction on top of my house, which was on the West Coast. But I don't live on the West Coast anymore. I live here now. So now I got to put it kind of like on the, the eastern side of the U.S. to vaporize myself. I think I'm good, though. I, I survived somehow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. How many of those does it take to, to eliminate all life on Earth? For science, we must know. Can I spawn more than one at a time? Of course I can. Why wouldn't I be able to? This is Solar Smash, after all. Holy cow, this is the worst light show I've ever experienced. <laughs> this thing is cool. This is an awesome, awesome weapon. Um, okay. Yeah, how, how are there still 7 billion people hanging out? I feel like half of the planet is gone. Is that accurate? I guess the vast majority of the population of Earth live on the other side of the planet. Let's keep chopping. Just, just spawn a few more of those. Oh, oh, okay. They can crash into each other. That's a valuable lesson. And by the way, um, the population of Earth is now non-existent. Uh, I assume it's just a desolate wasteland on the other side. Yeah. Now there's also a new planet called Ceres. Where's that? Oh, interesting. It's a dwarf planet. It's in our solar system? Where is this planet? Why have I never heard about this planet? So you're like a tiny planet. Whoa. Where? You're, I mean, you're pretty far from the sun, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna Google it. Where is Ceres? Dwarf planet Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Huh. And it's the only dwarf planet located in the inner solar system. All right, so you're you're basically a moon. So let's see how Ceres, the dwarf planet, holds up to the laser ball of death. Definitely much larger in in scale compared to uh, the the previous planet, Earth. Oh gosh, yeah, that's it's doing some damage. Definitely doing some damage. Gosh, that is a cool weapon. Also, there is a new defensive item. This is the defensive satellite. I guess you can place these and these just kind of wait for destructive forces to come in. So like if I launch a, a volley of missiles. Nope. Yo, oh my gosh. That was awesome. Look at how fast they, they get to action. Holy cow. These dudes are on top of it. Okay, wait. So I can, I can adjust the amount of missiles that I launch. How many missiles can you guys handle? 25? Let's see. Holy cow, that is awesome. That is so cool. All right, let's up it. How many do we have? We have, 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these defensive satellites wiped out 25 missiles before they even touched the planet. Now we're doing 35. Let's see what happens. Those things are efficient. We're going up. We're going to 45. Oh, oh! Did they let any through? They did not let any through. Okay, keep it going. These dudes are holding their ground. I want to kind of get like a, a shot from the side here so we can see the real action happening. That is so... <laughs> you know what? I'm going straight to 75 because I feel like these guys are handling themselves very well. Look at that. Look at that. Wiping out everything. No chance. It's the greatest defense mechanism ever. I'm going, I'm going max. I'm going 100. Can eight of these little defense satellites stop 100 missiles being launched at the same time? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh. They're fighting. Oh. Oh, it's going to be close. They, they totally, they wiped it out. That is crazy how effective those things are. Oh my gosh. Okay, what about lasers? Can you stop lasers? You can't stop lasers. Okay. They can only stop, like, physical objects. How about a moon? Are you serious? I didn't even see the moon. That is so sick. They pushed it away. Look, watch. They literally pushed it away. Okay, but, but for the record, it's not a moon that we're hurling at Ceres. It's an asteroid because Ceres is smaller than the moon, I assume. We could, we could also launch an eight ball at them. They just blew up the eight ball. What about a black hole? Just, just for good measure. Can you stop a black hole? No. No, you cannot. No one will stop the power of a black hole. <laughs> Oops. What about space worms? Can they shoot the space worms? They're not firing, which has me thinking that they don't defend against space worms. Okay, no. They they don't care about space worms. Weird. What about dragons? Space dragons? No? Don't care about space dragons either? No, they do care about space dragons. Oh, they are blasting space dragons. Does the space dragon actually die? Oh, they are fire. They are trying their best. They are failing. I wasn't expecting that. They just vaporized a space dragon. Space bugs? Yeah, you, you can't stop space bugs. They're too small. I mean, they're they're trying. They're definitely trying, but they they are not being successful because space bugs are are too tiny. Can they take out any of them? I don't think they can even hit them. Space bugs. They're scary. I know they can stop a UFO, right? Oh my gosh, no chance. Uh, like a, a space fleet? Yeah. No, you're, you're getting wiped out. How about like a space, f like, battleship? Also, keep in mind, we have less uh, satellites than we had before. We only have three right now. We used to have eight. I guess the space bugs did a quite a number. I also saw one of the worms crash through one of the space bugs. <laughs> Got through the, the force field. Okay, what about the, the actual goat the planetary destroyer can they stop can they stop it oh oh no it's gonna be close <gasps> it was so close to firing they survived though what is this thing i don't think i've ever used this i don't think this is necessarily new but it is definitely something that I haven't seen. Okay, so it's like an alien planet destroyer. Oh, it got through. Oh, it, it yeah. Yeah. All right. Sorry, series, but you put up a, a great fight. I'm very impressed. Oh, I wasn't expecting the explosion. But I'm happy that it happened, because it is Solar Smash. We also have some variations on the Minecraft planet, the block world. Let's blow it up. 
I love that the water is actual like Minecraft water. Look at it. It's moving. It's got it's got waves. It's got currents. Oh no. Oh, you're done. I also love the way that it breaks up. Oh man, that's so good. Is there any diamond in there? Any diamond? No diamond? All right. If there was any diamond, it's about to be very, very much gone. Yeah. Also, this is super cool. A donut Minecraft world. You know what I'm gonna do? Give it a little donut hole. Drop some of these boys. All right. Do your, do your worst. That is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Just four of those guys almost completely wiped out the Minecraft donut. I like that they teleport away too, because that kind of implies that they're sentient or like there's someone actually piloting them. You think there's an alien sitting in the middle of that thing going, Aah! and then like throwing up into a barf bucket at the end. <laughs> that was fun. Finish it off with a rainbow lightsaber. Oh man, that's so cool. I know we've played with this in the past, but it never gets old. This is Persephone, but now Persephone has some kind of crazy mechanical ring behind it. Dang, there's 9 billion people living on this thing. Is this some kind of defense system? Cause it looks very intimidating. Um, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's launch some missiles, shall we? What? Okay. All right. Yeah. That is definitely a defense system. Now, I, I will say, not to throw any shade here, not quite as effective as our orbital defense satellites. Just saying. Now, if you did throw a couple of orbital defense satellites and this ring of defense, then you're talking. That's a significant protection. But here's what I want. I just want to see, like... No, okay, they didn't do anything about that. What about like if you get an alien invasion? What are you guys gonna do about that? You're shooting your own planet. They're, they're actually shooting their own planet. Okay, what about this? This guy right here. This is, a, this is a huge threat. You better take it out. You guys aren't working fast enough. Oh, they got it. Okay, how about space dragons? We know the space dragons are tough. Can the defense system stop the space dragons? It's not even trying. Oh, now it is. It's not looking good per for Persephone. Oh no, the space dragon has, has drilled a hole through the core and is no longer being attacked. So, uh, cool, cool defense ring, Persephone. Good try, but space dragons might be your kryptonite what about space doges can you stop a space doge no he is too powerful he is all-knowing okay we have to send in the death drum see how it does it didn't even get to fire a shot what about multiple death drums can like can the defense system handle like a a, a multi-angled attack it totally can I think part of the reason why it's so effective, at least at like the multi approach, is that it's got cannons on the top and the bottom of the ring. Oh, but there is more. Oh, this is cool. An entire planet made out of water. So what happens if you cut a water planet in half? We must know. Or what happens if you boil a water planet? Like make it incredibly hot. Or what happens when you freeze an entire, okay, okay. We'll, we'll start with cutting it in half. Can we cut it in half? Or does it just, does it fill the void? It, it's kind of like the gas planet, isn't it? Okay, that's okay. We can work with that. Cause we just need a stronger laser. When all else fails, get a stronger laser. I'm gonna use a blue laser because it's a blue water planet. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh no, it's not. It's not enough. It's just shrinking the planet. Okay, so I think we answered two questions with, with one solution, if you will. A, can you cut a water planet in half? 
Uh, I think the answer is no. It's too resilient. But B, what happens when you boil a water planet? Well, it just kind of evaporates. It just turns into space steam. It disappears. Is there actually a, a an inner core to this planet? It's just it's just slowly shrinking. It's slowly being vaporized into nothing. Is there a, a hard inner core? Or is it purely liquid? I don't know. I'm still cutting away. I wonder Oh! Well, well, there goes our water planet. Theory confirmed. When you boil a water planet, it just disappears. But what if you freeze a water planet? Okay. Can I adjust the uh, the power of my of my ice beam? I can. Okay. Okay. This is cool. Oh, we're like creating a a frozen valley. But there's so much water that it's like it's caving in before it, it actually forms ice. Oh, man. What if I just hold it in one spot? No, no, you're not going to freeze. It's just it's it's like sublimating. It's just going straight from from liquid to to spacious gas. I'm just saying words that actually sound smart, but I'm probably using them in a truly idiotic way. Please try not to learn anything from me. No, it's just, it's shrinking. It's just shrinking the planet. I'm, I'm still, I'm still firing. Let's speed up time, actually. That looks so cool. I love the ripple effect around the edges. And now that like, we've got this silhouette of the water planet, it just looks so cool. It's like a blob, a blobulous planet floating through space. Is it still shrinking? I can't even tell. I guess I can't just shoot in the same spot. I have to move the freeze beam. Okay. Are you just gonna are you gonna disappear like you did when I when I boiled you? Don't go, water planet. You're my only friend. It's definitely shrinking, but it seems like it stopped. Yeah, like it, it hit a point where it, it just can't freeze anymore. What about a lightsaber? It's so cool. I made it disappear. Okay, we have to drop some laser drones on the, the water planet. I'm just, I'm going crazy. I'm making a the most insane light show ever. Imagine if you could change the colors of these lasers. Oh my gosh. It'd be a little bit headache inducing, I would say. This is already kind of making my brain melt. But it's fun to watch. I got to admit, the water planet is is much more resilient than I was expecting. And you can actually, I, I just realized there's a percentage on the left side of the screen that indicates like how much of the planet is left. We've already evaporated like 90% of the ocean planet. It's nearly gone. Just with the power of laser probes. We're down to the last 8%. Won't be much longer. Okay, I'm gonna go back to normal speed. Everything feels so slow now. Fortunately, there are no living organisms on ocean planet, but I do like the idea of like watery alien creatures living on an entirely ocean planet and being able to swim like through the planet. How sick would that be? It's nearly gone. We, we've got to finish the job here using our, our laser probes. Oh, it's gone. Why is there still 3% left then? I'm very confused. And then we have this fortress. So the machine world already had a defense shield around it, but now it's got the, the orbital planetary defense system around the outside. I feel like this thing's gonna be invincible. Is it invincible? I mean, like, I'm I'm gonna launch just an absolute onslaught of of laser drones. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay, some are some are oh not so invincible after all, are we? Machine Planet. If that's your real name. You held up pretty good, but you also took some hits. 
You definitely took some hits. But then, imagine this. You add a little orbital defense system, like so, along the bottom as well, of course. Oh my gosh, this thing is just an iron sphere of, of protection. That looks so cool. That is very intimidating. I would not want to go after this planet, but we've got to try. Alien invasion, these purple ships. Let's do it. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause time, and I'm just going to spawn a whole bunch so that as soon as we restart time, like just fleets and fleets will come from all directions at the same time. We'll see how... Uh, our adorable little machine world handles it. Am I doing this right? Is this working? I don't know if this is actually working. Oh, it's working. More or less. Okay, let's restart time. Oh, they're, they're getting right into it. Dude. The onslaught's already gone. It, like, it never even happened. All right. Yeah, well, you think you're so cool? Going 100 missiles, max power. Bring it on. Let's go. Yeah, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Yeah, what if I what if I launch 300 missiles at the same time? Huh? Oh my gosh. They're they're fending it. Wait. Wait. Oh, they took a hit. They took a hit. But nobody died. They protected their civilians valiantly. What about space dragons? Can you handle the space dragons? I, I just spawned a lot of space dragons. I don't think I don't think our our cyber machine world is gonna last much longer. Cause these dragons, man, they got a lot of health. They can take a lot of hits. Okay, there's one. Oh my gosh. Oh, another one got taken out? Oh! This planet is nuts! I'm thoroughly impressed. Now, can you take a punch from Plasma Man? Wait, you guys can actually shoot this thing? They can take a punch. Not great, but they survived. How about Minecraft bees? How do you handle Minecraft bees? You don't. You don't. It's over. The, nothing can shoot these things. They're too small. They're too powerful. No, are they just bouncing off the shield? Oh no, they're gonna break through. Oh, they're breaking through. Oh, they got through. Oh no. Machine world! You fought. Oh, the shield's back! I, I am truly impressed by the power of the defense of the machine world. Well done. Round of applause.